Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I am Danielle and I am a 4K teacher in Wisconsin. And today I'm gonna to give you a little tutorial on how to create Google Slides that have movable parts for seesaw activities for preschoolers. And I guess it actually couldn't, doesn't have to be preschoolers, it could be for anybody. Um, and I'm gonna teach you a couple of different ways to create these assignments or activities for students. Some of them are a little bit um, more difficult for you to do, a little bit more time consuming, and some of them are just easy and quick. So um, let's get started. First thing you do is you open up a new Google slide. I've already named mine here. And I like to delete those text boxes. We're starting with a fresh, clean one. I love to make a background. You can um, search the web or add any background you would like. But for today, I am actually just going to use um, the colors. There's some solid colors. There's some gradient ones a little bit fancier. Let's just choose a solid color today and it'll be blue. We'll save that. And now I'm gonna add some images. I'm gonna search for some images. And, oh, I've already got it picked up here. It says um, bear, or not bear, chair, clip art, no background. And I wanna make sure it has no background so that when I move it over there by using insert or dragging it across, that it actually has no background, no white box around it. So I'm gonna resize it, move it around and just make sure it's the right size that I like. And then um, I can add or insert another image. Now I've already done that. So I'm just gonna go to that slide that I've already created so you don't have to see how I do that again. And then see here, I've got the, the hat, the cake and the chair. So now I'm going to get this ready to put onto Seesaw. You're going to download it as a JPEG or a PNG. Um, you can't do PDF because it actually doesn't work on Seesaw. So I'm gonna download it as a JPEG and you can see it along my um, toolbar there that I have it downloaded. I'm gonna head back to Seesaw. I'm gonna create this new activity. You'd put your title um, in the title box here. I'm gonna just gonna call it the rhyming activity. And then um, I'm not gonna type in the instructions, but you can do type in the instructions for this activity. Um, and then we're gonna add a template. We're gonna go to drawing. And then we're gonna go to that little um, camera there and we're gonna upload. Because we've saved it as a, an image, um, we are going to upload it right there. You can search for it um, and then add it that way, but I just, because I have it at the bottom, I drag and dropped it. So next, I'm gonna save that space on the side there for the little images that the kids are gonna move. But I don't want this moving, this whole image. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to lock it. And then that way the kids can't move that part. So let's add some image onto the side here. I am um, going to go back to finding some images on the internet. So let's go to um, search. And here I've already put in bare clip art, no background. And you'll see when you search that, you can see that it doesn't have anything on the background there. It's kind of that checkery stuff. So I'm going to save that image, which I've actually already done. So I can go back to Seesaw and upload the image that I saved. And then I can drag and drop it or I can click open and there he is. I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller so I know that he will fit on the chair. I'm gonna put him off to the side there. Um, and that's when the kids are gonna, where the kids are gonna move the images from. So there's the bear and chair because they rhyme. I would find something that rhymes with hat. I would find, some, find something that rhymes with cake. So let's find um, a cat clip art, no background. Now I like um, this little black cat, but I wanna show you something that happens when I save this one. So I'm gonna save the image to my files and um, I have a little seesaw file here. 
I'm going to save the cat here and then he's already in there. Then again, let's go back to our Seesaw activity. I'm gonna upload the image I just saved. And I wanted to show you something about this guy. So this one that I saved actually has the white background. If you're not bothered by that, then just leave it. Um, I'm sure the kids won't really care. I move him off to the side where we're gonna have sort of all the things there. So the bear and the chair, the cat, the hat, and then I'd find a snake to put off to the side. And I could have all kinds of pictures on here, but these are the ones that I'll just show you for today. And then when I'm done creating this, then I'm gonna click on the green check. Again, you'd make sure that you add your instructions. You might also add video, uh, sorry, microphone instructions so they can listen to it instead of reading it. And then once you've done that, then you click on that you're done and it'll come up. Now I wanna assign this to my class and for today, I'm just going to show you um, to assign it to just one student, just the sample student, so that you can see what it looks like when it is assigned to the student. So let's go back to the class. I'm going to add my response as the sample student. This is what the kids will see when they're on their thing. But I want to point out that you have to have it on that little pointy thing not the pencil because then they're drawing so just you know make sure you teach your kids that they have to have it on that when they're dragging things and clicking them and moving them around moving them over cat hat bear chair and then when they're done then they can click on the green check to add to their journal now this is a way to add a fancier background so you're going to search for an image again, and I'm going to type in the forest clip art, no background. Again, I like to use no background so it doesn't have that white box around it. So I'm gonna scroll down to see which one I like. And I do like this fancy one right here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna insert it. And then I can resize it to make sure it fits the entire slide. And then I wanna fix this so I'm going to download it as a JPEG or a PNG. And then I would add this after I save it to the Google, or sorry, to the Seesaw. And then after, later, I can add other images. I can search other things that I wanna to add to this picture and layer them on top and save it to Seesaw if I wanted to. This is an activity, a Google slide that has kids moving um, letters around. And because I want the letters to be movable, I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete all of those. Um, and this is one I got from Teachers Pay Teachers. If you like to use ones that are already made, you can go ahead and um, do those. There's some you can purchase. There are some free ones. Um, so once I delete all those letters, I'm going to save it, or sorry, download it as a PNG or JPEG because remember we can't use a PDF. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna head on over to Seesaw and create a new activity. And I'm going to um, upload, um, don't forget to add your instructions of course, but I'm gonna upload this into the drawing tool. So again, I go to the camera, I click on upload and I'm going to add this um, ocean scene, open it to that. And then what I'm going to do is I want those letters that are going to be drag and drop for the kids. I'm going to do a text box and then I'll add a letter and then um, I'll just resize it to make it fit over to the other side. And um, I put an M there and maybe uh, what is it says dragging the Y's into the bubble. So let's make one that has a Y on it. Um, you can change this activity up however you want, but I'm going to just do these two letters here just to show you that the kids can move these over. Um, and drag and drop those. But uh oh, I forgot to um, lock this. So I have to right click on the big image and don't forget to lock that one so the kids can't um, move that. And now that's locked and they can move the letters over to the assignment. When they're done, they click the green check and it is added to their journal. Okay, this is a really simple way to have um, a drag and drop 
um, assignment. So I'm going to go into drawing and I'm going to add a background and they have colors and then they have some a little bit fancier, nothing too fancy though. I'm going to just pick purple and we have a question of the day. So this is one way of doing it. You can just type in the question and they can drag and drop their answer. Um, I'm going to put, do you like um, cats? Do you like cats or bears? And then I'll just resize this to make sure they have enough room to put their answer. So I'm going to add the pictures of a cat and a bear. So I'm going to upload my images for the choices. I'm going to move the bear onto here, resize him, make him a little bit smaller, and then move him off to the side. So there's the bear. And then I'll add the cat for a choice for our question of the day. Remember, this is the cat that um, has the white black background around them, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. You can pick a different one if you'd rather. Um, and then I can't forget to lock this so that this doesn't move. Um, they, the kids can't move that. So whoops, let me try this. Get it locked so that can't move. Remember, right click and then lock. And then now they can answer the question of the day. Do you like cats or bears? Yeah, I like cats. No, I like bears. Actually, maybe I like both. And then they add their response.